I'm currently running an extremely important straw poll in the description below. If you guys could please check it out once this video is finished. The Warcraft bye bye. You all remember the time where you had free reign in choosing how to build your class? Or the time where World of Warcraft essentially ruined its social aspects? Today I'm here to cover the five worst changes and or updates in World of Warcraft history. Let me know what changes to World of Warcraft made you cringe in the comments section below. And without further ado, let's get into it starting with number five. Coming in at number five, we have the max level boost. I know microtransactions are currently the biggest thing at the moment within MMORPGs, but really, this was a step too far. Although this seems like a good idea in theory, in terms of new players being able to progress quickly pre-expansions, but in any other perspective you can think of, this is a very, very bad idea. An obvious example being PvP and PvE. Whereas PvE is a lot easier to learn for new players because fights aren't really situational, PvP as a new player is a huge problem. Not only for the team, but for themselves. Not having the opportunity to play your class and learn it right throughout the leveling period leaves room for a lot of error and causes a lot of new players to tilt and could quite possibly turn them away from World of Warcraft as a whole. Overall, it was just a horrible idea. Coming in at number 4, we have voice chat. Back in patch 2.2, when raiding was at its peak, Blizzard made the decision to release an in-game voice chat system, similar to Ventrilo, aka Vent. However, on the release of this, there was a lot of debate within the WoW community on whether or not this was a pointless update. However, people quickly realised that getting the built-in voice chat to work was a hit or miss. Sometimes it would work great, but once a person would get DC'd from the game, they would come back and spend literally 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get it to work again without success. Ventrilo overall had a much easier interface and it actually worked. As far as the cost goes, however, compared to what people were willing to spend on the game, Vent was cheap, making this a pointless update to the game that possibly came at the expense of a lot of other good quality updates. Coming in at number 3, we have Dungeon Finder and Looking for Aid. You've heard it before. Dungeon Finder has ruined the social aspects of World of Warcraft. Personally though, I think that the Dungeon Finder was the death of World of Warcraft. It did completely ruin the social aspect of such a popular and successful MMO. And before you can say anything like, yeah but kids these days are lazy, I will tell you that I am 17 years old and there was nothing as fun and rewarding as making your own group, using your social skills, and then getting a couple of you to go to the summoning stone in order to teleport the rest of your party to the instance. But however, that was back in the day. I have played the game for many years now, and recently the game has progressively become worse and worse, with expansions becoming less interesting, and purely because everything is becoming a little too easy. Also, with the ability to play with characters across realms, I mean, yes, you can get a group more quickly, but then, does that not trivialise there being multiple realms a little bit? Now that these tools have been developed, I don't imagine Blizzard ever reverting back to the old school method of getting your instance group. I would be happy, however, if they did, but it would be nice to see Blizzard stop making new tools to make the game easier and easier for a change. In number two, we have the old talent system being removed. I enjoyed the old talent tree a lot more because it was something I looked forward to each time I leveled, because you actually got something every other level. I literally remember each time I leveled. I was so excited to spend my next point. The old talent tree felt a lot more personal, but with this new talent thing, you essentially choose a new spell or passive every 15 levels. Remember the times where all classes were gimped because no one knew what to build, that was what made WoW fun and interesting. Remember that time you used to furiously grind levels just to get that one ability sitting halfway down your talent tree? The fact that this change was even contemplated irritates me, and definitely deserves a spot on our countdown. Finally in number one we have the... Garrisons. You don't know how much this addition makes me mad. <laughs> In some recent articles, the garrisons introduced were even named hugely popular. Hugely popular? You've got to be kidding me, right? I honestly don't know a single person who finds them remotely good in any way. Garrisons are garbage content that has no place in World of Warcraft. I've been playing since late vanilla in 2005. Over the years, I've consistently witnessed Blizzard take WoW two steps forward, only to follow with a giant misstep. 
The heavily phased railroad style questing introduced in Cataclysm makes me <coughs> Ugh. If you if you don't do every single quest in the order mandated by Blizzard, you will never get additional quests. Garrisons are trash, but if you don't create one, just try finding any quests to do. I miss the days when the Warcraft world was wild, mysterious, and a bit scary. When you could explore the world and find little known random quest givers, even in the remotest corners of Ashara. When just reaching level cap was an achievement worthy of a slash salute from a lower level player. When the old world wasn't screwed up royally by the so-called cataclysm. Those days are gone for good. And on that note, that is going to conclude the countdown video for today. I hope you did all enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section what update or change made you cringe. Like and subscribe for more content just like this. Oh, and speaking of subscribers... There are almost 8,000 of you. What do I do? Honestly though guys, you guys are the best. And I can't thank you enough for your support. Once again, make sure to check that straw pal... Pal... Straw poll out in the comment... <laughs> what am I saying? Check that... <laughs> Check that straw poll out in the description. Nonetheless, this has been the Warcraft Bubble. Stay devoted.